Welcome to the 2023 NOPEN. We're here at Hiller Fit HQ to brief the first NOPEN workout. The first workout of the 2023 NOPEN is as many reps as possible in seven minutes of burpees. Andrew Hiller is going to cover the movement standards for this workout, and Alexis Kowalski is going to demo the movement standards for this workout. Alexis Kowalski has hip dysplasia, a torn labrum, and can no longer do CrossFit. Ow! Ow! Are you okay? This workout begins from a standing position. At the bottom of the rep, your chest and hips must simultaneously make contact with the floor. If you're unsure of where your chest is, just touch your nipples to the ground and you're gonna be good. Once you've done this, Alexis is going to come up off of the floor and she's going to make contact simultaneously with both hands with the object. Let's take a look at that target. Alexis is going to stand directly underneath of it and she's going to extend her hand. This extension should be six inches away from said target. The fingertips should be above the wrist, over the elbow, over the shoulder, over the hip, over the knee, above the feet. Taking the tape measure, you should be able to clearly see from here that there is a six inch or greater distance from the tip of the finger to the target. This can be accomplished in a couple of ways. The reason that we're going to be using the ring is because when Alexis raises her hand overhead here and she's going to use a possible full of bar to make the touch, you can see clearly that it is not equal to or greater than six inches. That would be the case as well if we were to go to one of these other pull-up bars. Clearly not greater than or equal to six inches. Alexis actually could use this pull-up bar. However, when she raises her arm up overhead, even with the addition of three mats, the discrepancy is much further than. So while she could use this, it would be in her best interest to get a little bit closer, which you can do with the assistance of the Dolomer mat or any sort of mat. If you don't have access to either a pull-up rig or a ring you may use a door frame so Alexis again would raise her hand overhead it would be directly overhead so she'd need to move forward a little bit good and from there you would mark that six inches so she would show the six inch measurement tape off the position there and both hands would need to make contact upon completion of the burpee rep another measurement that you can use is raise the single arm above the head and do the measurement to a single wall so there's your six inches this looks pretty easy she would just need to touch the silver piece of the trim if alexis were to complete burpees here she would do them parallel with the wall she would turn and face the wall as she makes contact with both hands go ahead it should go without saying, but springy floors are a no rep. This workout is the same for all athletes, including the masters. Did you get it? Pretty cool, right? Welcome to week one of the NOPEN. I'm gonna be going over all of the workout instructions, the movement standards, as well as the flow of the workout. Call me crazy, but I think that this is something that CrossFit should do with its workouts. But you know, what do I know about anything? The workout is Dave. You might remember something similar. It is a seven minute AMRAP where you're going to be doing as many burpees as possible within that seven minutes to a six inch target. We have some video submission standards that you have to know about. You have to do all of this before you start the workout. A 5% penalty will be given if you do it after the workout. And a zero score will be given if you don't do it at all. So if you just put the camera down and start doing burpees, doesn't matter. You're going to get a big old zero on all of that work. Stand with your feet together and touching. See what I did there? Together and touching underneath your target. While standing with your hips and knees straight, extend an arm overhead. This year, unless you're James Hobart, everyone experienced that it's rather hard to get a perfectly straight line with your arms up and overhead. However, if you rewind, there used to be a standard where all you had to do was reach one arm over your head. You had to have those fingertips extended and everything had to be in alignment. And that's the one that we're following. So put an arm overhead, hips and knees straight, fingers extended, and then clearly show the six inch measurement within the video. Probably most easily done with a buddy. If not, Jerry rig something up where you can show that you have a tape measure. And I showed in the video with Alexis that if you put a piece of tape on a tape measure, it makes it rather clear where your hand is in relation to that six inch mark. They put that right there. All right. Come on, zoom in on it. There we go. So yeah, do all of that before you start doing your seven minutes of burpees. If you do it after, 5% penalty. If you don't show it at all, no video, no workout, no score. Idiot. If any part of your body leaves during the workout itself, the whole thing is going to be stopped at that point. The workout isn't invalid, but let's just say you do 20 burpees and then you go somewhere else and come back. Your workout from that point on forward doesn't count. You get 20 burpees and you're done. 
Who knows what you were doing over there? Who knows what sort of Steven Spielberg film editor you've got on the other side of the table? You're done. A clock must be shown and wad proof does have an open reset that you can use. A zero score will be given if there is no clock. So I got a clock right back there. You can see it, it's all blurred out, but it's red. And if you don't have the ability to easily throw a clock up in your background, go to the wad proof app, use the Nopen preset where they have everything put in there already and click go. The clock has to run upwards of seven. So zero, one, two, three, up to seven minutes. Capiche? Do all that before you start the workout. On the burpee, if when you are measuring, you are wearing shoes, you have to wear shoes during the workout. If when you're measuring, you aren't wearing shoes, you can't wear shoes during the workout. They think it's common sense, but it's gonna be messed up somewhere. Is that what you think? You think? And you're gonna be having a zero score. Your chest and your hips must touch the ground at the bottom of the burpee rep. I don't care how you get down there. You could fall, you could crawl. Yes, I can crawl. I can crawl like Skylar. But at some point in time, they both have to touch at the same time. You know, like worming crap. And if you don't know where your chest is, everyone's got nipples, right? At the top of each burpee rep, you must touch at or above the six inch with both hands at the same time. So not like this one too. You know, same kind of standard when you do toes to bar. They gotta touch at the same time. You gotta touch the target or whatever you had marked off at the same time. If you miss the target during the jump, you do not need to repeat the entire burpee. But you do, however, need to make the touch before you continue to the next rep. The target can be anything, so long as you can make contact with both hands simultaneously. If you're using a pull-up bar, consider adding additional matting to the floor so that you can get yourself a little bit taller. And the flow of the workout. Athlete's starting position is standing tall underneath the target that you have shown in the video submission standards. At the call of three, two, one, go, you may begin your first burpee. Do not move until either the clock clearly reads zeros or there is a clear sound indicating that the workout has started. You will receive a 5% penalty if you fall start. Rolling through the penalties, why is it that everyone just starts early? I don't wanna be giving one or two second penalties everywhere. I want you to wait for everyone else to start at the same time, and if you don't, you get a 5% penalty on your overall score. You thought you had 100 burpees? Nope, you got 95 of them. Too bad, so sad. On Tuesday, I'm going to be releasing an entire video on the way that the penalty system will be going, but this is all you need to know for completing workout number one of the NOPEN. Again, it's called Dave. It is seven minutes of burpees that will be done to a six inch target. And that's all I have to say about that. Have a good time and Riller out.